Are you sick of letting other people take advantage of you? Do you feel overwhelmed or burned out when you are around certain people? And do you consider yourself an introvert? Then you should set boundaries now. Yeah, I get it. You heard it before setting boundaries, blah, blah, blah. But you haven't done it yet, have you? I mean, it always sounds like a good idea to finally stand up for yourself and finally set boundaries, especially when you are around certain people. Energy vampires, like family members, especially around the holidays when you are supposed to be around the family gathering and you clearly don't want to do that. Or coworkers, clients or customers, or friends, or friends of friends that are also there when you want to hang around with your friends, but you don't like them, but they are always there. You had so many situations when you had enough and you wanted to finally stand up for yourself. And it always sounded like a good idea. The next time I'm gonna set some boundaries. But then the next time comes and you didn't do it. Because you were afraid of the conflict, afraid of getting rejected, or you were simply afraid of the consequences, like the long exhausting talks and explanations, why you finally want to set boundaries, why people cannot treat you that way. Or maybe you don't know how to set boundaries or you don't feel it that you getting burned out in a social situation. Maybe you are already so used to that feeling of being depleted of energy and people want something from you all the time and your role is just to give it to them and totally neglect your mental health and your needs. The danger is when you do not learn to set boundaries is that people might exploit you, that you will have a hard time making new connections like friends or relationships or that you will become overwhelmed around people. This can lead to a social burnout. This is a stage where people always say oh I am so introverted or I hate people and this might not be true you might not hate people or you might not be an introvert but you probably lack the skill to set boundaries and this can lead to a declining mental health resulting in anger frustration or even depression hey I need you to stay a bit longer today yes okay sure of course why me again boundaries are important when you draw in a coloring book you have to have borders these are your boundaries. Or you will not recognize the picture you are filling out. Or you will not see a picture to fill out there in the first place. You are the picture in the coloring book. Other people are filling out the picture when they're interacting with you. These are your co-workers, family members, the random encounters in your everyday life, and of course, friends and partners. They all want to add to that picture, to you, and want to figure out what that picture is all about. If you don't give them borders or boundaries, there will be no nice picture in the end, just a blob of colors. You know, the great advantage about setting boundaries is that people accept them. You will be treated like that. And the most amazing thing is that you get your wishes fulfilled, be it with friends, in a relationship or in your job. By setting boundaries, you raise your standards. You're not okay with less anymore, so you don't get less. Of course, first you might need to learn to set some boundaries, but after some time, people just feel them. And if not, it will be a piece of cake for you to just remind them or to just brief them how you want to be treated. So are you ready to learn the one thing you can do today to set boundaries? Say no to one thing today. Yes, I know you know to do that, but hear me out. Learn to say no comes in three stages. The first step is saying no with a kind of a no energy. I call this the bratty stage. Because that no feels to you like a 10 year old that does not want to eat its Brussels sprouts. And I can't blame you for that. Because you just learned to state your boundaries and there's so much anger behind it, so much pain. Because it feels liberating to do so. You are angry with yourself because you didn't do it before and you are angry with others because you feel exploited by them. With that, you might have the urge to hurt others as well, to say no in a very harsh and angry way. But remember, hurt people, hurt people. Hey, I need you to stay a bit longer today. No, and you don't need to ask me any more again. But remember, people just put in their colors in your coloring book. And without borders, it's just a blob of colors. It won't become a picture. And if this makes sense for you, then this is the channel for you. My goal is to make sure that you become the most confident next level you that you can become. And if that's something you want to, then hit the like and subscribe button because these are the kinds of videos I'm going to make you. The second stage is saying no with a yes energy. You get used to say no and learn that people respect that. You learn to take care of yourself first and of your needs. So you are happy to say no more often. Hey, I need you to stay a bit longer longer today. No, I need to leave on time today. And the third stage of setting boundaries and saying no is saying yes. But what? I already say yes way too often. Can't I just skip the first two stages and keep saying yes? No, because this yes will be honest. It won't come from a fake people pleasing attitude, but from inner strength. Hey, I need you to stay a bit longer today. Mm, yeah, actually today would work. And you know that I'm happy to help, but 
the next time I need to know it at least two days in advance. You say yes and you are able to state your needs. That's win-win. So other people might not be that toxic as you first thought, right? But maybe they are still. In this video, you're gonna learn how to handle toxic people the right way. I'll see you there.